Hey guys, time for some Black Friday talk. We're approaching it pretty quickly. And as most of you know, Black Friday really, gosh, it starts days before it because Amazon does daily specials. And then on Thursday, almost all your stores do specials right before Black Friday. So my wife and I like to call Thursday Gray Thursday. And uh, in fact, it upsets my wife a little bit because she thinks families should be together on Thanksgiving and not out shopping on Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna talk about two stores mainly. And then I'm gonna give you guys a link to look at all the stores. But two stores that I always look at is Best Buy and Walmart. And they're probably the two stores that are like most in demand, uh, where the crowds are there, the deals are there and everything. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't usually attend Best Buy. I'll try and buy stuff online. But I went to Best Buy once in California. It was wrapped around the store completely. And a Best Buy store is really big. I mean like completely wrapped around the store. And then when you got inside, the line to check out was wrapped around three times. All right, let's start with Walmart. These are the things that we have uh, at Walmart going on. There's just a few of the big items. Then the items that are most in demand are usually TVs and video game systems and video games. There's a link down below to all Black Friday ads. It tells you where everybody is, what's going on. So go down below and click that link so I don't bore you with all the details. All right, so we're looking uh, Walmart sweet deals. We have a Samsung 40 inch 4K smart TV for $328. Serious, a 4K TV? Another Samsung 4K, 58 inches, $598. Samsung 65 inches, they're just getting bigger and bigger. Uh, 4K curved smart TV for $998. Under $1,000 for a 4K curved Samsung smart TV. Oh, Xbox One S. If you have not got a game system, this is the year to buy them. You can get Xbox One S for as low as $189. Is that crazy? We got $29 video games. I always wait. The titles come out in October, and I usually wait for Black Friday so that my wife can get me all the games I want. For Christmas, $29. You're looking at Fractured But Whole. <laughs> I have to say that so slow. Uh, South Park, we have, what else do we have? Uh, Need for Speed, the new one. The Evil Within 2, and many more. 29, these are big titles for $29. There's a ton more games for $19. $12 and $9, and they're big name titles too, maybe one or two years old, those games that you may have passed up, didn't have $60 to drop on them. Well, go check them out. Walmart's got a ton of games at really great prices. Google Home, you guys have heard me talk about it on Tech Time. Google Home is dropping to $79. DVD movies as low as $1.96 for the Angry Birds movie and a few other titles. And also the Lego Batman. Love Lego Batman movie. If you want to get that, you finally want to grab a copy, it's only $3.96. You better grab it fast. I guarantee they won't last but five minutes. For all of you who want to start smoking, the Master Build Electric Smoker is as low as $99. Check that out. Look at the details online. I'm not sure if it's the Bluetooth one or not. Probably not. But it's a good starter unit if you want to start smoking meat. The people who brought you this drinking device here, Ozark Trail, it beats the Yeti. If you don't believe me, I did a video on it and this kept ice colder and it's only like, what, seven and change, $8, something like that now uh, at Walmart. Their soft side cooler is only $29. It holds up to 36 cans of beverages. Also the instant tent, I didn't even know Ozark Trail had an instant tent, $38 and it sleeps four people. Are you kidding me? 38 bucks, that's it? Give that a try. Then we have the Farberware Digital Air Fryer, and that's only worth $39. Everybody's got this big thing about air fryers now, and that's only 39 bucks. All right, now on to Best Buy. Best Buy has a Samsung 65 inch Ultra HD 4K Smart TV. 65 inches, $750. Way better than the Walmart 65 inch. Sony 60 inch Ultra HD 4K. $599.99, 600 bucks. Eight dollar movies like Moana, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, eight bucks, guys. <sighs> I paid 15 to go see them in the theater and then another 20 for food and drinks. They also have Xbox One S, 500 gigabyte hard drive for $189. We got video game titles, $15, $20, all the, the main titles that are out today. 
there's going to be some deep discounts on video games at Best Buy as always. $29 for Google Home Mini also, and you get a $10 Best Buy gift card. And we've got the $10 4K Ultra HD movies. So if you get the Ultra HD TV, you can get big name titles for only 10 bucks, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, and The Grinch is only $4. I thought that was exciting. I love that movie. The Grinch, four bucks. Are you serious? You gotta grab a copy. Oh, you already have a copy? Gotta grab a copy for somebody else. Okay, on to the battle plan. You guys ready? This is what it's all about. Your experience all depends on your battle plan. And what you wanna do is divide and conquer. All right, first you gotta go through all the ads and map out what's most important to you. Put them in order. What stores you wanna go to first. What stores has the most items, all right? The next thing you wanna do is find out, can I buy them online? You can call ahead. I would start calling now because they're probably not gonna be answering phones closer to Black Friday. All right, so call ahead. Hey, can I buy this online? No, I can't. Great, I gotta get up five in the morning. Then when you get to the store, the more people you have, the better. Let me explain how this works, all right? Four is kind of sweet because what you do is you enter the store as soon as they let you in. One person goes directly to the cash registers and stands in line. There may not be a line right away, but as the line forms, pop them in line, all right? And stay in communications via text message, all right? The other three go and get stuff. So like my wife will go to the video game section or I'll go video games and, and she'll go over to electronics and, and if we got a TV we want or there's pajamas and we just divide and conquer. Everybody gets one item. When you get in that store, don't get a shopping cart if you don't have to. Unless you're getting a big TV or a big, uh, big deep fryer or something, if you have to have a shopping cart, have somebody stand off to the side with a shopping cart and bring your stuff to them. Don't try and maneuver in the store with a shopping cart. It's not worth it, it's ridiculous. You can weave in and out better around people's shopping carts and get to what you want faster than they can. Put somebody with a shopping cart in somewhere in the store. And I always put them like on the dog food aisle because there's like no big demand for dog food on Black Friday. So have them just sit there with a the shopping cart. Uh, all parties meet there and dump their stuff in there and then bring the shopping cart directly to the cash register. Now here's the sweet spot. My wife didn't even want me to tell you this, this tip, but this one's cool because we did this and it worked out great. They had lines at Walmart that went all the way to the back of the store. It was unbelievable. It would have taken like an hour, hour and a half to check out, right? Okay, we went over to Automotive. Cash out at Automotive. Nobody's at Automotive. Well, they are now because I just said it on this video, but the Automotive can always cash you out too. And if you want to buy something at the jewelry counter, you can always cash out everything at the jewelry counter if you purchase something at the jewelry counter. So find another register other than the main registers. Now, I'm going to call to find out. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Scan and Go. If you don't know what Scan and Go is, it's where you scan items and put them in your cart at Sam's Club. And then you just hit a button on your phone and it puts it right to your credit card and you walk out the door. You don't wait to check out. The phone does it all for you, okay? You've never used it before? Well, you guys gotta watch my Scan and Go video. Walmart now has it coming, okay? And I don't know if these are working yet, so let me get on the phone and see if Scan and Go is gonna be in effect for Black Friday. Sam's Club, may I help you? Uh, yes, I'm just curious. You know your Scan and Go feature, right? Uh-huh. Will that be in effect for Black Friday? For Black Friday, it should. I mean, as long as... It's good for anything that's not uh, alcohol, so, you know, that kind of thing you have to go through the line for. And it's good only up to like, I think it's, I don't know if it's $750 is the max it can go. Okay. So, yeah, it just all depends on that. But yes, it's, it should be good that day too. All right, so as long as you're not doing alcohol or cigarettes and yeah. you're under about $750, you can do scanning. Yeah. Up. All right, that's good news. Now I'm gonna predict, this is the first year I believe Scanner goes in full effect at Sam's Club, it will crash. Okay, really quick before I call them, Walmart is only a few stores here and there have Scan and Go right now. So there's like th two Walmarts in my area, not the one I normally go to, not, not two of them that I normally go to, but two other ones I can drive a little further to have Scan and Go. So check the app, get the Walmart Scan and Go app, it'll tell you what stores in your area. Walmart customer service. Uh, yes, my name's Jack. How are you today? I'm good. How can I help you? Good. I'm trying to find out, will your Scan and Go app, uh, will that work on Black Friday? As far as I know, we're going to be using Scan and Go on Black Friday, or are we not? 
Yes, I do believe we will be using it. All right, so Scan and Go is working at Sam's Club for Black Friday and for Walmart, as long as it lasts and stays up and running, it works. Here's the last tip. Go to obscure stores. Go to stores people don't visit on Black Friday. For example, Discount Tires is having major deep discounts on their tires. If you need tires, go to, go to Discount Tires on Black Friday and get a part of that. Look for the stores that people don't. I like to go graze where other cows aren't grazing. And if I can find a, a cool Black Friday deal that nobody else is running to, I'm gonna run to it. So check it out. Check out all the, the stores on the link down below. If you have some Black Friday tips, add them in the comment section. Tell me your biggest horror stories. Tell me what you're looking for this year. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Talk to me about your Black Friday battle plan. You guys take care, and I'll see you on the next Tech Time.